To better understand the Teleport platform, let's look at three problems that Teleport can solve for your team. We'll look at how Teleport can help teams be more productive, secure, and compliant. Let's see how Dave stays productive by having a single place for access. Dave logs in and has an inventory of all the resources that he needs access to get his job done. Today, he needs to query the DB. He can now set up a local proxy for secure database connections. From the terminal, he can also quickly get access to servers and Kubernetes clusters and all resources. Here, Dave uses the GUI to access his DB. Teleport supports all developer flows, providing both secure and quick access. Some systems need extra security when accessing them. For these, only company-issued hardware devices can access their resources. Along with direct human access, Teleport can use to quickly connect and secure bots accessing infrastructure. Dave has set up a new GitHub Actions flow. Instead of creating a secret, he can use an identity-backed bot in Teleport. This bot joins through an identity token and removes the need for long-lived secrets. Teleport Machine ID issues short-lived credentials for access. Teleport allows you to harden your security further with identity governance, protecting infrastructure with ephemeral phishing-proof credentials. This starts with using an external identity provider. Here, I'll use Okta to log in. I can map my Okta groups to my RBAC roles. For accessing servers, user identities can be pushed all the way down, creating local Linux users and environments. Traits can also be used to map to groups, systems, and roles. When someone logs in, they have access for a configurable amount of time. We recommend one working day. If a user is compromised, teams can lock that user. With large teams and complex infrastructure, it can be difficult to know what's happening. This is why access monitoring can make it easy to query and identify weak access measures in your infrastructure. The pre-built privilege access report makes it easy to identify weak security and provides recommended infrastructure best practices. A recommended best practice is to set up access requests. This feature lets teams easily implement zero standing privileges, only providing access to resources or roles after being created by an access request. Here, Samantha is building an inventory of resources she needs access to debug a system. Once the access request has been created, the team gets a Slack notification and they can quickly approve her request. Samantha can now go about her day debugging. Some access is required for longer periods. This access can be elevated to an access list. Sometimes it's important to prevent access to a resource. This could be during maintenance, a high traffic part of the day, or even if someone's laptop's misplaced. Teleport session and identity locks can provide a flexible way with an API to lock a range of items from users and devices to individual Windows desktops and Kubernetes hosts. Teleport allows teams to govern policy by unifying access controls and policies into a centralized platform. This matters due to the ever-expanding nature of modern infrastructure, keeping track of, let alone enforcing policy across apps, cloud providers, databases, and servers can quickly become a headache. To better understand the scale of this problem, Teleport Access Graph can quickly highlight access patterns in your infrastructure with the ability to show standing privileges and uncover more complex impersonation. Access Graph's query language is a flexible tool for access for users to resources or the reverse, making it easy to understand access patterns. All of these features make it easy to pass to most compliance regimes. Teams have found that using Teleport has helped them obtain SOC2, FedRAMP, or HIPAA. This wraps up how Teleport can help teams move faster with productivity increases, improve security with strong defaults and layered depth of security controls, and lastly, accelerate compliance with fine-grained audit and built-in access controls.